But basically, this is this follow up. Hello, everyone. It's your girl Jay, and today I'm here with my October TBR. I can't believe it's already October. If you are new to this channel, then you don't know this, but my mom actually picks my TBR every single month and she always has a fun little theme that goes along with why she chose the books. This month's theme is Halloween or like the costumes that you can go as for Halloween. I'm like super bummed about this year's Halloween because we're probably not gonna be able to have an actual Halloween and I'm not gonna see all the little kiddos come to my door because I always work on Halloween, but this year obviously I'm not working on Halloween because of the corona. And we're not even having little kids come to our door, so I'm really bummed about it. But without further ado, let us get started. Oh. So the first book that she chose actually has nothing to do with Halloween and has everything to do with that. It's my birthday month in October, so she decided to pick a book representing that. And it is the year I turned 16. I'm not turning 16, I'm turning 25, but... This is by Diane Schwem, and this actually is a book that contains four different stories, um, all following four different sisters and I guess the year they turned 16. I don't know. It says four sisters, one wish, but it includes Rose, Daisy, Laurel, and Lily. So I'm assuming they're like little short, like middle grade books, and then they just made it a bound up edition. I don't know, but this is solely just because it's my birthday month. <laughs> the next book she chose is Cinderella is Dead by Callan Bayron. This is probably the book that I'm the most excited for on her list of TBR books that she picked for me. I have heard such good things about this book, and I'm just so excited to pick it up. From what I've heard, it has like a female-female romance in it, so I'm very excited for that, but I'm just like so here for this book and I can't wait to pick it up. Next book she picked is Catwoman by Sarah J Maas, and this is one of the superhero books that all the authors are getting signed on. I think a lot of people hauled this at the very beginning when it first came out and then I've never seen anybody actually read it and say if it's good or not. The only one I've seen like reviews for was Wonder Woman by Lee Bardugo and I don't think like that many people like loved it. Like I think it was a very average book so like I don't really have high hopes for it. Catwoman's cool so I'm not mad about it. The next book she chose is The Fall of Butterflies by Andrea Ports, and this follows a girl who ends up being accepted to like a prestigious boarding school, but the only reason she gets accepted is because her mom is like famous. So she decides that she's not going to stay there for very long and she's like not going to follow the rules, but then she meets one of the cool girls and a friendship ensues. The way that it's described in the fl like flappy thing, this, this thing, makes it kind of sound like it could potentially be a female-female romance. So that's like what I'm hoping for, fingers crossed. I don't know if that's actually true, but I really like the book when it's like not in its dust jacket, which has nothing to do with anything. I just wanted to say I liked it. The next book that she chose is Deep Betrayal by Anne Greenwood Brown. That probably doesn't make sense for the theme if you're just looking at the title, but it follows Mermaid, so that's why she picked it for the costume theme. This is the sequel to Lies Beneath, which I read like back when I first started booktube in like 2015 or something like that. And I actually really did like that book, and I've just never picked up the sequel, but Killer Mermaids, so I'm here for it. The next one she chose is The Reformed Vampire support group by Katherine Jinx. This follows a group of vampires who, in order to not be hunted by people, they have to go to a support group every Tuesday to basically, like, talk about their problems and stuff. And I think it sounds kind of funny. My mom said she tried to read it and, like, she couldn't get into it. But I have it on audiobook, so I'm hoping that that's kind of gonna make it fly through a little bit faster. But I think that it looks pretty cute and I think that it could be a good time, hopefully, if it's done well, we'll see though. Next is Orphan Monster Spy by Matt Killian. And all I really know about this is that it's set in like the time of World War II, but it's not a World War II book. But basically this follows a girl who is sent to a boarding school that is for the daughters of Nazi top brass. She's told to become friends with one of the daughters of the like super high up person in the Nazis. She's basically supposed to infiltrate their lives and then I guess get invited to their house or something and like find blueprints for this place plan that the Nazis are having, but she's very good at impersonating people because her mother was a actress and apparently that's helpful and she's taught everything that she needs to know for that and um, I guess that makes her a spy and she's gonna infiltrate the Nazis. I don't know. I actually had two copies of this and I ended up giving one to my friend Nicole and she said that it was like a decent book, like she would read the sequel if she got her hands on it, but like it's nothing like 
super like pressing you need to read it so I'm assuming it's probably gonna be like a three star read for me so I don't have high hopes but it's on the TBR. Next is Invisible Ghost by Robin Schneider and this follows a girl whose brother passes away and then she ends up like seeing him and then a boy who's from her past moves back to town and I think they fall in love or like a relationship ensues but she's also trying to deal with the passing of her brother and like being able to see him. So like contemporary paranormal romance? I don't know but It'll probably be like an average read for me, three stars, but we'll see when we actually do pick it up. And then the final book that she chose is one that was on my TBR list like two months ago, I think, and I never got to it, but it is Akita Witch by Nindi Okor 4, and I have had this on my shelves forever, but I actually just recently picked up the sequel, so I'm kind of excited to pick this up because then I can read the sequel and hopefully like love it. All I really know about this is that it's about a girl who like never really fits in anywhere and then she discovers that she is a free agent which means that she has latent magical abilities and then she gets sent to like a boarding school to be trained with her magical abilities and they're they're gonna fight like some big mystical power or something like that so I think it's gonna be a pretty good time. Alright like everybody so that was my TBR for October. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!